Hey guys, welcome back to the Evil Within 2. When we last left off, we managed to get into some action and we fought our way to the first safe house with this uh, O'Neill chappy. He's a bit of a coward. I don't really like him. However, he has given us some missions to uh, look into. Hopefully, we can find something with uh, a little bit more boom to it. Coffee makers. Drinking coffee at a coffee maker will restore you to full health. Coffee makers will automatically begin brewing in another pot after use. But the process will take some time to complete. Oh, I like that. That's cool. And I do like the idea of these safe houses. Workbenches. Workbench can be used to craft ammunition and items with components. Uh, and upgrade weapons with weapon parts. Okay. This is such a better game than the first one already. Like, just, just mechanically, you know? And bearing in mind, I know I'm I'm kind of moaning about the first game quite a bit, but I did enjoy the first game. I enjoyed the first game a lot. I played it three times. Um, weapon upgrades. Ooh. So that's how many weapon parts we have. Reload time. Eh. Increase the amount of ammunition. Uh, a weapon can hold before needing to reload. Yeah. Upgrade applies to most weapons of the same. Oh, cool. So we only have to upgrade our handgun. And then that upgrades our burst handgun as well. Very, very, very nice. I like that. Um, ammo capacity could be nice. Firepower. Not too bad. So where does it tell you how many parts you need? 120%. So what's this then? Level 2. Unlocks level 2 enhancements for firepower, ammo capacity, fire rate and reload time. Ah, I see. That's critical. Okay, so the upgrades are very similar to the first game. Which is not too bad. Um, let's get some... You know what? I think firepower is where it's at. Let's get... A, ah, I see. 90 weapon parts. Yeah, yeah, that's expensive. Reload time. So, crafting. Handgun bullets. Oh! So, it takes... Ah, here we go. I really like this. What's this? Enhanced handgun ammo, maybe? Fire extinguisher? Alright. So... Oh, so it's two um, powder to make one bullet. Wow. Wow, that's expensive. But we do need bullets. Okay. And it's only three herbs for a medical syringe, which doesn't seem too bad either. So always make sure we've got one of these on us. Select the field crafting icon. Yeah. Oh, field crafting. Field crafting consumes more resources. And you cannot upgrade. Okay. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. It's like a last resort sort of thing. Um, I don't really want to upgrade my handgun, though. Oh, no, shit, and I didn't want to do that. Never mind. <clears throat> Fuck. It doesn't matter. Um. You know what, let's just upgrade firepower. So, because <clears throat> I want my handgun to be all it can be. Alright, well, let's go. A big fan of the safe houses. Ooh. It's our old friend. What the... Who was that? I think you know who that was. I actually can't remember her name. Uh... 
Okay, well, it's all quiet out here. O'Neill's safe house. So the whole building is a safe house. Cool. Well, let's go see if we can get some brain juice. <clears throat> Not that we actually have a lot of brain juice, mind. Oh, this is Sebastian's room. Ah, right, 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 right. Okay. Okay. So there's our craft bench. Okay, just sit in the chair, Sab. Remember this, buddy. It's all going to be okay. Don't you worry about it. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh, dear. What the hell? Hey, let me out of here. Now, remember, this is good. Detective Castellanos, what a pleasant surprise. Welcome back. You again? How are you here? I could ask you the same question. Regardless, it's nice to see a familiar face. Mm-hmm. Even if that face has seen far too much. <laughs> you look tired, Detective. I can help you get back in shape. Now you're talking. Just like before. Okay, upgrade. So, health. This is a little bit different. Improve recovery of health. Improve concealment and stealth. I get the feeling this is going to be really useful this time around. Combat. Athleticism is also going to be quite nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, we need more gel. Consume a red gel to unlock further skill progression. Oh. Okay. Can we actually afford anything? No. No, I don't think we can. Raises your pain threshold, allowing you to survive attacks that should have done more damage. Uh, should have done more than enough damage to kill you. Cool. Alright. Combat. Steady hands. That's quite nice. Reduce sway when firing weapons. <clears throat> Melee attacks, including attacks with weapons like knives and axes, do more damage. That's cool. Less kickback when firing. Very nice. Low profile. Your footsteps produce less noise, making enemies uh, slower to investigate. Does that mean always or only when you're crouching? Bottles in your inventory will automatically be used to break free from some enemies' grab attacks. Does not work against certain attacks. So, a little bit like the uh, Resident Evil 1 uh, remake. Where you could get uh, defense items, I guess. Move fast to crouched. Perform sneaky kills from around the corner whilst in cover. That sounds nice. Yeah, stealth is going to be really good. What about recovery? Recover more health when using healing items. Health recovery speed increases when regenerated from near death status. Health recovery, yeah. That's quite nice. Recover more health when using healing items. Automatically use a medical syringe when taking fatal damage. Does not work when taking fatal damage from certain attacks. Okay. Alright, well we can't actually afford anything, which is a little bit lame, but... Uh, Good to know. Some nice upgrades here. We haven't... I don't think there's anything here that we can really... I mean, we've got a save room. There's our little putty cat. Now, what was this? Apparently, we can operate the projector and then have, like, a dialogue. <coughs> um... Ah, talk to Kidman. Kidman, you there? Always. 
You wouldn't have told me about Lily if your damn machine didn't go on the fritz. I would have spent the rest of my life mourning her and you wouldn't have cared. I cared, but I couldn't say anything. They would have killed me. I'm not sure I believe you. Why would I lie about that? To manipulate me. To get me to perform like a good little soldier. You've lied to me before. Our whole friendship was built on a lie. Okay, I get it. And I don't blame you for feeling that way. You'll never know how I feel until you've lost your family. I never had a family to lose. Just two people who brought me into this world and treated me like a burden instead of a daughter. Better to have loved and lost? Is that what you're saying? Maybe. At least you had people who cared about you. Point taken. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so thanks for the tip. I would have missed that otherwise. Or at least not noticed it for quite a long time. Ooh. Some brain juice. Thanks, Kitty. Damn it. Literally, like, 100 points um, below what we actually need to level up. Alright, well, let's drop a save and then carry on. Hopefully we can find ourselves uh, a weapon with some more boom. I'll probably play this game again, maybe. Uh, but I very much doubt I shall record it. But let, let's have a look. Let's see. Back in O'Neill's safe house. Cool. Right, let's get out of here. So the only thing that's in there is his house there. What I am going to do, uh, thinking about it, so inventory, no that's not it, it's mouse button 3 isn't it, can you not do it here, I guess you can't check your arsenal when you're in here. See if I can find this signal he mentioned. Yeah. R to lock on. When the communicator is within scanning range of a resonance point, a waveform will appear in the upper left side of the screen. Move the communicator around to find the signal and lock onto it. Looks pretty far away. But it's the only lead I've got. God, I hope it's Lily. Yeah, me too, buddy. Me too. There's too many of them. We're screwed. There's too many of them. Suck it up, James. We've been through worse than this. And we're better armed this time. Or at least we will be once we raid the supplies. Come on. That must be the signal O'Neill mentioned. Yeah. Suck it up, James. We've been through worse than this. And we're better armed this time. Okay. Now can I? Ah, yeah, so you can't check your arsenal when you're inside. Okay, so what I'm going to do, <clears throat> that can be eight. Because I don't want any accidental misclicks happening again. Ooh. Well, shit. We've seen this before, Sab. If it keeps breaking apart like this, there won't be any union to search. I gotta try to find that signal. Alright, don't worry about it, buddy. Well, let's have a little look around anyway. Hopefully we can find some more supplies and things. And definitely more weapon parts. Oh, hello. An axe. Nice. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Let's just grab the stuff. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Ah. Oh. Okay, so he's going to throw that there. Hey, pal. 
Nothing to see here, buddy. Oh, shit. God damn it. Oh, stomp, you gotta be quick. Gotta be very quick. Okay. Well, let's go grab us an axe. I was hoping we could quick kill. Ooh, hand axe. Weapon acquired. Hand axes temporarily replace the survival knife in combat. Can instantly kill some enemies, but will break after a single use. Yeah. Same as before. <clears throat> Those things are piling corpses up here. But why? Possibly to make some kind of massive monster. That would be my guess. Investigate. What was that? Gunpowder. Nice. Okay. So can we get inside this house? Ooh. Can we push this? No. Oh, let's turn the light back on so we can actually see stuff. And turn the light back off because there's enemies. Right. Let's have a little look on our map. Where are we exactly? Oh, I see. So the actual rogue signals do actually appear. That's cool. Sneak. Another bottle. I'm guessing we can't carry too many of these, but... We do seem to be picking up quite a few of them. Hey, birdie. You got some bullets for me? Some big ones? Thanks, boss. We're almost full of handgun bullets now, which is good, because they don't seem to be that great. A new tutorial has been... Double tap to kick a door. Okay. I remember the double tap to kick doors open before, but I know in the last game it wasn't overly reliable. Smoke powder. This dry powder emits a plume of smoke when exposed to flames. This component can be used to craft, craft useful items. Bread flour. Okay, cool. Sounds good to me. At least we've got some more health now. Well, this area is clear. You're right, buddy. I guess. Uh, I guess no. I guess you're not all right. Ah, and uh, again with the empty drawers. Right, that just leads back outside, which is somewhere where we don't want to go right now. Ooh, weapon parts. Yes. I think it's a hundred we need for the next upgrade. Ooh. Ooh. Really? It's kind of fuse. A small block type fuse from an electric junction box. It cannot unfortunately be used to repair broken fuse boxes. Oh, but it can be used to craft items. Alright. Good to know. Ooh. Do we really want to go down here? I guess so. Kind of be rude not to. Ooh, what is this? Go to the Maro Armory. Um, yes. This computer's still working. What the hell is this? I have no idea. Apparently to the armory, Sebastian. Okay. Computer inception. Well, okay then. 
An armory sounds like uh, just the kind of place we need to get. Ooh. Bullets. Bullets are always nice. Looks like this armory's been completely raided, though. <coughs> kind of. Um, kind of. Anybody here? Anybody left any nice, delicious weapons for us? Uh, use stairs in case of fire. Do not use elevator. Okay. <coughs> noted, game. Noted. I do like the idea that we're picking up herbs. That's really cool. Well, this place has definitely been looted before we've been here, which is kind of sucky. Ooh. You have got to be kidding. How did that not... How did that not do anything? Hey, bub. Damn it! Um, Sebastian, you really suck at this whole melee thing. Like, your melee skills are a joke. I don't know why he's so slow. Never mind. Oh, that was a nice amount of green gel. Yeah, see, he's really quick when you're not in combat. As soon as uh, an enemy appears, he decides not to attack. Really bizarre. Still. Definitely sounds like somebody's in here. What's the chances something's going to burst out of that as soon as we turn our back? Well, let's keep going. Haven't found anything truly exceptional just yet. A metal pipe. A chunk of steel pipe with some rust on the ends. Not worth much as a cudgel. Besides, you've got guns. Okay. Noted. Sadly, these boxes contain very little. Now, one thing I'm kind of curious. Have we actually stumbled... No, the marrow. I'm just wondering, have we actually stumbled into that quest? I'm not actually sure. Two gunpowder, some smoke powder, some weapon parts. Nice, okay. Whatever's through here, it sounds less than friendly. <clears throat> but that's okay, because we're not very friendly to these monsters either. Hey, birdie. Time for you to go sleep sleep. Permanently. There you go, bud. Your worries are over. Nice. No more worries for you, my friend. Well, this place has really gone to shit. Oh, she seems to be quite content just to have a little bit of a sleepy. This chap has been royally savaged. Doesn't look like he had a gun on him, though. Just how deep does this rabbit hole go? Broken fuse boxes. Broken fuse boxes can be powered momentarily by firing a shock bolt from the warden crossbow into them. Yeah, well, we don't have one. Use W oh yeah, to adjust the height. 
Green wave until it matches the red one. Okay. I see. Stretch it out a little bit. There we go. That's quite cool. Now this is looking a little bit more promising. Yeah, buddy. Now full of ammo. I say full of ammo. 20 bullets isn't really anything to write home about. Ooh, very nice. What have we got here? Okay, not quite a new weapon, but we'll take it. Gunpowder is always good. And some more shotgun shells, which is fantastic. So, what do we have here? Is this a crossbow or a shotgun? Ooh, shotgun. Well, all right. Nice. I'll take it. Not too shabby. What we will do, we'll have you as two, and bottles can now be three. So, it only holds seven shells for that. That is not that great. Well, okay. Hopefully the shotgun is uh, going to be a pretty good weapon then. If we really can't hold that much ammo for it, we're going to have to rely on it being really good. We're going to have to come back here. I have to make a note of that. Ooh. Hello, lovely. Kind of don't want to waste my shotgun on you. Really? Come on, baby. Come on. That could definitely have been better. Right. Well, we shall take your brain juice. Yeah, we really need to concentrate on uh, leveling up just how much ammo we have. Because that is going to be a big problem. But then it was quite a problem in the first game as well. You know, firepower is only really that useful if you can actually hit the enemies. There is quite a bit of sway as well when you get enemies. I'm, I'm noticing that more. Now my concern is, is something going to come through here? Yeah. Kind of saw that coming. Yeah, you can see the sway when you go to move. Come on, guys. I'm noticing actually. You don't. Oh god. Shit. Run. There's no. Um. Burning of bodies here. Which is cool. We kind of really burst through some ammo there, which is not good. But then we got the shotgun. So. Swings and roundabouts, I guess. I guess he's... Oh, hello. Ah, hello. Keys. These old-fashioned keys can be used to open uh, lockers in Nurse uh, Tania's treatment area. Okay. You know, I am tempted to look those up. Tempted. I don't really want to miss any. Alright, let's go. I think that thing, whatever it was, was slightly more dangerous than your average monster. Never mind. We have what we came for, which was the shotgun. Let's get out of here. Definitely need to get him some more stamina. He's, uh, his health is not exactly great. I might look the keys up. I don't know. I kind of don't want to, but... At the same time... I do want to get all the keys. 
So I'm going to say I'm undecided whether I'm going to look them up or not. Not quite sure why we have to search a computer, go through a loading screen, then search another computer. Kind of a bit strange, but okay. Now, I wonder if the loot is going to be randomised in all of her office areas, uh, in her treatment area, like it was in the first game. Oh. Is something bigger about? Oh, hello, love. Oh, man. That shotgun is seriously satisfying. Yeah, that was satisfying. I'm a fan. Shit. Damn it. Come on, douchebag. Go on, buddy. Go on. Go on. Go find the noise. No? I have no idea where that smashed to. Yeah, not quite a fan of this whole bottle situation. Does seem a little bit wonky. He's got an axe as well, which is a bit worrying. Right, hopefully we can sneak, 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 sneak. Come on, Sebastian. Sneak, 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 sneak. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Your ass is mine, boy. Beautiful. The stealth kills are quite satisfying as well. Uh, I'm going to have that. And I'm going to have your axe. Because I'm a dick like that. Right. I guess... Oh! Okay, that's curious. Do enemies sometimes drop ammo? Did they do that in the first game? I can't remember. Ah, so that's quite interesting. Oh, that's the Warden Crossbow. Alright, well let's go to that. Can we get that early? I Okay, so we just randomly stumbled across the shotgun. Cool, let's go get the crossbow so we can then open the other door in the armory. Sounds like a good idea to me. Yeah, I think we might try and save some of our parts as well for upgrading the shotgun. This does not sound good. This does not sound good. Oh. Oh, hey, big fella. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Ah, there we go. I thought he was going to get wise to us then. I'm going to have to be really careful sneaking around here. I'm going to have to really listen to everything. Oh, what's that? Another bottle. At least bottles do pretty much seem to be everywhere. So there's that. I 
got a herb over there. It would be cool if it marked off areas that you've searched. Although I suppose the best way for us to do that is to just <coughs> search all the buildings one by one as we come up to them. Alright, let's see what we've got in here. Visitor center. Sounds interesting. We've already built up a nice amount of herbs again. Now, can we shut the doors? We can. I'm really getting a Resident Evil um, Nemesis vibe from this. Like if our e Nemesis was 3D. And that is not a bad thing. Damn it, what's with all these empty drawers? Damn you, game. I can imagine that uh, those keys are going to be really dubiously hidden. Or deviously hidden, I should say. Oh, another file. What have we got here? Union is an ideal mix of small town charm and modern day convenience, surrounded by diverse natural wonders. Come and step back into a simpler time where warm, friendly smiles of the residents are comfortable and familiar. Get away from the hustle and bustle and come to a place that welcomes you with open arms. <sighs> Union, we're glad to have you here. That sounds lovely. Well, if there's any consolation game, I'm glad to be here. I really am. Yes. Loot. Can make a whole bullet out of that bottle of gunpowder. I think we're going to be making lots of shotgun shells. Can't go through there. I'm assuming that this place this place seems fairly important. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say we're gonna get a quest here eventually. So we've been to the visitor centre. Haven't raided this house yet. Yeah we have. This is the first house we raided, right? No, we have not raided this house. For what I've done. Please forgive me for what I've done. Please forgive me. Oh my God. There's no forgiveness for you, my son. I know I've sinned, but not this. Please. I won't sin again. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for what I've done. Hello? Please forgive me. Are you okay? You're forgiven, buddy. Uh-oh. Ooh. Ooh, that looks a bit sore. <clears throat> um... What the hell did we just witness? Don't trust it, Sab. Ooh. Okay. Well, every goddamn time we. I go to church, bad things happen. Every goddamn time. Now sit down, for God's sakes. Well, we've got a lot of gel saved up. Well, I guess it's not really a lot of gel, but you know what I mean. Ooh, hello. That makes sense. Looks like the Padre had some fight in them. 
Yeah, I guess so. Before he was dragged down by the weight of his sins. Well, this was worth it. Nice little uh, loot area. Quite happy with that. Oh, yeah. Anywhere else? I guess there had to be a statue in here. Quite a nice little uh, little church, to be honest. Although, if I was creating the perfect utopia, it sure as shit would not have any kind of organised religion involved. Right, guys, I think we're going to end this by going back to the save state. We've barely done anything. This is going to be a very slow um, game, I think. Because you, you know how I play games. I'm always slow. I try to be as thorough as possible. I guess we really did just go through the bin. But it was worth it because we found gunpowder. Yeah, very much Silent Hill feeling to this game as well. Which again, is not unpleasant. It's nice. Oh, that was pretty stylish. Uh, let's go use our keys. I keep thinking I can hear my cats, but it's not my cats, is it? It's you, you little bugger. Now, where is she? She's out here somewhere. This is the best way to travel around your office. Just kick the fucking door down every damn time. Now, upgrades. I'm thinking we need to upgrade stamina, perhaps. Because our stamina sucks. You brought something with you. A key. Excellent. Oh, this is cool. Some keys open doors of perception, but this isn't one of them. This one is more mundane, but still useful. Mm. Oh, I like this. One. Open one. Its contents are better off in your hands than locked away in here. Completely agree, my dear. Completely agree. Uh, let's just do this in order. Nice. Should we go up or down? Let's go down. Make it a little bit different. More gunpowder. Very nice. Happy with that. I like the way the nurse is, uh, has a little bit more um, interaction in this, which is cool. Uh, We're going to go for... Let's try recovery. Cover more health, yeah, that might be nice. Stealth, I think, is where it's at, though. Low profile. Could actually afford that. Oh, I see. Right, let's get that. Bottle break. Perform sneak kills from around a corner whilst in cover. Very useful. I do like that though. Let's do it. Ooh, I don't know. Never, don't really use cover too much. Perhaps we should. Let's just be as quiet as we possibly can for now. Do I have any red gel? I don't know where we get the red gels from. I'm guessing bosses, perhaps? And then next... I think our next upgrade will probably be that. Or maybe that. I'm thinking the stealth uh, tree. Actually, because I don't really play games stealthy, as a lot of you guys will know, but... I think stealth is going to be really insanely useful in this game. Now, weapon upgrades. Shotgun. Definitely win the ammo capacity for this. 30 parts. Ah, we can use a high grade 
weapon part to up I see, I see. Do we want that or do we want firepower? They seem to all cost roughly the same. Or do we want to keep going with a handgun? 130%. I'm thinking handgun. Sure. Let's do that. That's only 20 handgun parts. And that's only 50. Sure. Right. Okay. Happy with that. Because the handgun is, you know, it's going to be the basic weapon that we have the most ammo for. And it's going to be the weapon that we rely on the most. Um, so you might as well keep that thing tip top. Let's get out of here. Let's save the game. And we call this a video. Because this has been going for nearly an hour again. But it's it's very hard for me to record half an hour of this game. Because it's so addictive. It's so much fun. Well, I'm enjoying it quite a damn lot at the moment. So, thanks for watching, guys. And until next time.